Hey, this is Professor Perez again. Today, we're gonna to work on combining like terms. Oh, what fun. And of course, we gotta get Charlie out. He better be ready to go. Charlie, you ready to go? Yeah. We're doing combining like terms. Woohoo! Oh, you think this is fun, huh? What? Well, it better be. All right, Charlie, here's our first problem. Let's make a tough one right there. You better not miss this. All right, Charlie, what's one plus one? Two. Uh-huh, you got that one right. Okay, let's step it up a bit. Now, Charlie, what's this one? X plus X. X squared. No, it is X squared if you'd like to repeat this class, Charlie. What? It's like one X plus another X is how many X's, Charlie? Two X. That's right, it's two X. All right, Charlie. Okay, let's see if you can recover. Try this one. X squared. Uh-huh, now you know the answer, huh? Yeah, that is X squared. All right, Charlie. Okay, Charlie, what's two plus three? Five. That's right. Okay, be careful. Now, what's two X's plus three more X's? Five X's. That's right, five X's. Yeah, you can't miss that one. Now, don't get scared. Just relax. Here we go, Charlie. What's two sevenths plus three more sevenths? Five sevenths. That's right. All those problems just require that you have the ability to add two plus three without a calculator. All right, Charlie, here we go. Five plus three subtract two. Remember, you must work left to right according to order of operations. And so what's five plus three? Eight. Subtract two, six. Very nice there, Charlie, that's right. It's not zero unless you'd like to repeat this class. Uh-huh, with him. All right, Charlie, here we go. Same problem, but it's 11th. What's five 11th plus three more 11th Take away two of your 11s. What do you get, Charlie? Six 11s. That's right, six 11s, the same problem. Now don't get scared, Charlie, don't miss this one. Five apples plus three more apples take away two of your apples. Gives you how many apples, Charlie? Six apples. Six apples, very nice there. So, okay, now that we're warmed up, let's get to the real problems. Two X plus three X plus two plus four. Oh, what fun. Now remember, order of operation says we have to work left to right. So what's 2x plus 3x, Charlie? 5x. 5x, that's right. And so notice, 2x plus 3x is 5x, and now we're gonna do the two plus four. Which is what, Charlie? Six. Six, and that is our answer here. Now notice, order of operation says we're supposed to work left to right. So we were supposed to do 2x plus 3x, which is 5x, and then add the two. But we did not add the two to the five X because we can't do that. So one thing to remember, if everything is being added together, we can use the associative property and commutative properties for addition to show that we can add in any order we want, right? Okay, so let's apply that to this problem here. Now, look at this, Charlie. What are the like terms? 2x and 3x. Okay, so we'll add those together and we'll bring down our work. Now, order of operations says you're supposed to work left to right, correct? But we cannot do 5x subtract 2. So what we have to do is visualize that subtract 2 as being adding a negative 2. And remember, if everything is being added together, you can go in any order you want. So in this case, now, Charlie, notice we can add the negative 2 plus 4, which is what, Charlie? 2. Two, and that is the correct answer. So those two little middle steps, sometimes people don't like to write them out, they just do it mentally, which is okay. But as long as you understand what you're doing, you're fine. Write out the steps and that will help you understand and improve your combining like terms ability. So here we go, Charlie. 5a subtract three, subtract three a. Remember, order of operations says you're supposed to work left to right, but if we visualize everything being added, in this case, adding a negative three and adding a negative three A, it's the same problem, but now, since everything is being added, we can add in any order we want. And what's five A plus a negative three A, Charlie? Two A. Two A. And don't forget to bring down your plus a negative three. Now, our final answer is what, Charlie? Two A subtract three. That's right, two A subtract three. And again, if you can do the problem with skipping those two middle steps, that's fine but as long as you realize what you're actually doing. Okay, so let's step it up a bit. 
Don't get scared with this one, Charlie. Now, here, we can't work left to right, but we can visualize everything here being added by writing it as adding a negative 5 plus adding a negative 3x and adding a negative 2 and adding a negative x. Now we can go in any order. So let's define our like terms. We have all those x's there, Charlie. And then we have those numbers. Now, Charlie, what's 7x plus a negative 3x? 4x. Subtract x. 3 is 3x. Very nice there, Charlie. Now, what's a negative 5 plus a negative 2? Negative 7. That's right. And our final answer is 3x subtract 7 because adding a negative number is the same as subtracting the opposite. We should know how to do that. There's our final answer. Okay, and again, some of you can go straight from the top to the bottom. That's good. But I hope you can do it without your calculator. All right, Charlie, let's do another one. Oh, what fun. Don't get scared. Here we go, Charlie, we got all these subtractions in there. So let's change our subtractions to adding the negative quantities here, just like this. Okay, now let's define our like terms. First, we'll start with the a's, Charlie. Notice we have a 2a, a 1a, and a negative 4a. And with our b's, we have a negative b plus a negative 8b plus a 3b. And we have that negative 4 at the end. Okay, Charlie, so. 2a plus a is what, Charlie? 3a. Subtract 4a, negative a. Negative a. Uh, let me let you know that you don't have to put the parentheses around the negative a. I'm just doing, for, doing it for presentation. So, we have a negative a. Now, let's combine our b's. What's negative b plus a negative 8b, Charlie? Negative 9b. Plus a 3b? Negative 6. Negative 6b. Very nice. And bring down your negative 4. And all we have to do is bring down our work, take off the parentheses, negative a, subtract 6b, subtract 4. And there it is. So that's our lecture on combining like terms. And oh, what fun. We'll see you again soon.